Memorial Day has a very specific purpose. And the whole reason of Memorial Day is to honor those men and women who gave their lives or their health so we could enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy today. Jeff Roy of the Purple Heart Foundation joins me now to talk about what they're doing for wounded veterans, really for all veterans as well. Jeff, thank you so much for being here and thank you for your service. Well, it's certainly my pleasure to be here. Uh, I, I work with the Purple Heart Foundation on radio and I love this organization just because um, you guys, the whole, the, the organization as a whole, from what I see, has really just gotten in there at the ground level to really work with veterans. I mean, even going so far to, to identify and help homeless veterans and all, not just those who are combat wounded, but all veterans uh, are helped by the Purple Heart Foundation. Now, this whole organization has been around since the 50s. Well, the foundation has been around since the 50s, but the organization started in 1932. Wow. So it goes back to the history of when the Purple Heart Medal was really resurrected by uh, General MacArthur. Right. And uh, he wanted to recognize our soldiers that were wounded in World War I. And at that time, the Army had what was called a wound stripe that was put on their sleeve. So he asked the Department of Heraldry to go back and, and say, uh, we'd like to develop a medal. And that's why the Purple Heart comes from General Washington. And that's why he's on the Purple Heart. That's what I've always wondered. I have some, some veterans in my family that are Purple Heart recipients. And yeah. I've always wondered, and I've looked at them, and I've always wondered, well, why is that? Why does it look the way it does? And because it goes, he, he did a medal called Badge of Military Merit mm -hmm. that he wanted to give to uh, a decoration to the common soldier. So uh, that, this medal came from that medal. That's why it's the oldest military uh, medal. Oh, I did not know that. It, it is, and, uh, and when it was done, it was 1932, so it was right after the Purple Heart came to being, and it was starting to give uh, to the soldiers of World War I, that's when we got together as an organization for all the wounded veterans of World War I. So it is the third oldest military organization, but it's also one of the toughest to get into. Yes, exactly. It is yeah. a very distinct group, that is for sure. Right. Uh, and Memorial Day as well. Tell us about the significance of Memorial Day. One of the things that shocks me is especially like when I talk to my younger cousins and I ask them, well, tell me about Memorial Day. Yeah. They, um, and to me, I find this so sad. And I really wish that there was more of an emphasis on, on education about why we have the holidays that we do to recognize those who served. Because they will think that they sort of all, they're all the same. No, but they're not. Tell us about, tell us the significance of Memorial Day. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, that's what we're losing in our education system today. The fact that people don't realize that Memorial Day goes all the way back to the Civil War. And it goes back to what was called Decoration Day. And, and that was a day when the veterans of those wars would decorate the gravestones of their mm -hmm. fallen comrades. And then later, of course, we came to Memorial Day, and, and for us, especially uh, uh, veterans of any of the wars, it's, uh, it's a day we remember our friends that are no longer here. And uh, for a lot of us, that's what drives our continuing to volunteer uh, to make sure that today's veterans are not forgotten. Right. And unfortunately, you know, when we even speak at schools today, we get those same questions as, where does this come from and, and why is it there? Because, as you said, all too often now, we're, we're talking more about the barbecue and the opening of a park or right. whatever. Right, instead of the real significance of Memorial Day. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. One, one of my favorite memories, um, my boys did Boy Scouts. And we would do the Memorial Day good turn at the uh, for when we lived in St. Louis at Jefferson Barracks. Yeah. Every every grave yeah. got a flag. Everyone. It took That's us all right. day long, but every grave yeah. got a flag, rain or That's shine. Right. And yeah. that was that. I mean, and they really really understood it. And and it closes that gap. They understand really the the sacrifice uh, yeah. and what was paid to ensure these freedoms.